Hey everyone, Blalik Yakov here, and this is a continuation on our MIDI slash DMX tutorials. We're just gonna be creating a generic RGB wash light and hooking it up to Lumia Stream. Let's get started. If you haven't been following along, we made two tutorials before this. The first one is basically essential if you don't understand MIDI and DMX to hook it up to Lumia Stream. The second video, we learned a lot about chasers and how to use a smoke machine. And then the third video is this one where we're hooking up a generic RGB wash light that doesn't have a fixture profile on QLC plus. So before we begin, as usual, make sure loop MIDI is on, make sure your port is connected and you're good to go. Then start QLC plus in Lumia stream. I already have both of those on, so I'm just gonna bring them to the forefront. So as you see, I already have my mini RGBW moving head on channels one to 14. And then my smoke machine is on address 16 to 17. I'm going to set up my OPPSK wash light that doesn't have a fixture profile on QLC plus to channel 20. Uh, I already set this up on my machine. You just make sure you go to the channels and then you just start it at 20, the channel address. And then the channel mode that I'm using is only mode three. So I can control the R, G and B values. And that's all I care about at the moment. Uh, because since there's no fixture profile, I don't wanna set up a whole fixture profile from scratch at the moment. I'm just gonna use generic RGB. And now I have my red channel, my green channel, and my blue channel. And our address that we're starting from is 20. I'm gonna call this my wash light and I'll press okay. So now that our wash light's connected, we're gonna go to functions, just press new scene. And we're gonna call this uh, wash red. We're gonna add our fixture and we're gonna choose our wash light and go over to the wash light tab. Now I can turn on this this and this. Let's make sure R is 255 and you'll see my wash light turn on immediately because it's on channel mode three. I can turn my green value up, turn red back down, blue up, or how about all of them? You get the idea, you can play around with that. Anyway, we're gonna turn green and blue down and red all the way up. And now we have our scene that of course we can tie to our virtual console. So we can go to virtual console. So we're gonna create a new button by just copy and pasting. We're gonna call this wash red. And I'm gonna choose the function as wash red. And now instead, we're gonna auto detect the, the MIDI note. So we're gonna to go to Lumia stream, we're gonna to go to commands, add command, and I'm gonna call this command wash red. I'm gonna have a duration four seconds and I also want my smart light to go off. So now I'm gonna to go to the MIDI tab, I'm gonna to go to my port, and the note to send is going to be, you know, anyone I'm not using, I know I'm not using this one, so I'll go to auto detect on QLC plus and press test action. And there we go, D hashtag one. Now don't forget to press add MIDI. And for our end state, we're gonna do the exact same. So note to send is going to be D sharp one. And I'm gonna turn the velocity to zero. Add MIDI, apply, refresh. And now if I make sure that the play button is on, on QLC plus, I'll press test and my watch lights will turn to red. Perfect and it'll turn off after four seconds. There we go. And that's about it. Of course, you know, you go back to watch our original tutorial where we're setting up the RGB values. We set up different scenes and chases that you can do like a RGB uh, and you can tie those to your wash light. This was just showing you how to, you know, implement a generic wash light with RGB values and use them within Lumia Stream. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you all have a luminous day.